Hey, you guys are here with Josh Thompson here at Combat Club. I want you guys to make sure you guys subscribe to Combat Club. Hey, great channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up too. That will share all their content. Other people do that for us. Josh Thompson here. Thank you guys. Ali's boxing skills have clearly eroded, but his presence as a global figure is still unequaled. So Ali retires and becomes a global ambassador for his causes, peace, goodwill, and the nation of Islam. Everyone, from world leaders to barefoot children, smiles at the mention of his name and beams at the opportunity to meet him. Never before in the annals of diplomacy has there been a journey quite like that of Mr. Ambassador Muhammad Ali, sent to Africa by the president to drum up support for a boycott of the Moscow Olympics. And in 1980, Ali announces that he is coming back. Again, he wants to fight for the title, currently held by Larry Holmes. I shall return. I will regain it on the third. Champion of all champions, Ali will fall. He won't go eight rounds, I predict it. Ali will fall. The old man is in serious trouble. This man helped me in his camp, gave me the opportunity to learn and to be with him, to see what a champion is really all about. More important than all of being a champion, giving me a chance to see what a great human being he really is. In order for the Nevada State Athletic Commission to give Ali a boxing license, he had to undergo a medical test. The results was kept secret, however, it came to light that Ali had trouble touching his nose. No guessing who the scumbag promoter was. Together because I have a brother fighting a son, Ali being the brother who opened the door for me, and Larry Holmes being a son whom I watched develop and grow into the heavyweight champion. I, re -re I would be remiss as a father if I did not stand beside the son. Two weeks before the fight, Dr. Charles Williams prescribed Thyrolol, a thyroid medication. This caused Ali to lose weight fast. It also caused him to get tired easy. I'm your master. I'm the greatest of all times. You're fighting a legend of all times. what happened and this was pretty much the story throughout Larry Holmes teeing off and his kind of a childhood idol Dundee wants to stop the fight. That's it. They stopped the fight at TKO. It'll be scored as a technical knockout. And I love the man, I don't care what nobody say about it. And I respect him one hell of a lot. Why'd you want me back at you? <laughs> well, I had to whoop you because it was you and me. <laughs> it's 1970, what is it? 1978, 79, something that I say, I'm in a reformatory with bad kids. I've robbed some people, so we're all locked up here. Muhammad Ali came in there. He came to visit the kids. I saw him, and um, my life started, I said, hey, I bet you nobody picks on him. It's my mind was saying this shit. I used, by the way, people, when he came in, people would have lost their mind. The people that abused us, the staff, they lost their mind, they were crying. The people that were abused, they were crying when they saw this man, they were at his mercy. So I said, fuck, I bet you nobody picks on him. 
Entenda.